Karan Johar's best friend Shah Rukh Khan was present to launch the much talked about biography An Unsuitable Boy on the Filmmaker's Life at the Taj Lands in Mumbai. The book captures details on Karan's life starting right from his childhood to his entry into the film industry with a blockbuster of a debut. The event also saw Karan's mentees Alia Bhatt and Siddharth Malhotra in attendance. The two walked in seconds apart. Ayan Mukherjee, Shakun Batra, Surchitra Pillai, Puneet Malhotra and Gauri Khan were also present at the do. Columnist and novelist Shobha De posed a few questions to the filmmaker. She asked him why people are so obsessed with his sexuality. To which Karan answered her very aptly on all issues on him. Well, that's the, it, the, for some reason, as I said, the word conjecture is a word I use very often on my on my talk show. Uh, well, that is because when people don't have final answers, they tend to kind of, you know, browse around the topic always. And so have I. And uh, but in the book, um, I've said what I felt the need to, and I've said it in a way that I felt I needed to express it. Um, and there's really nothing more to say. So I think that every answer anyone's looking for is in the book. Best friend Shah Rukh Khan too talked about the title and his bond with Karan. Title, uh, I find that a little different. It could have been title anything. It could have been title according to me, apart from the unsuitable boy. It could have been the the good boy. Yeah, he's a good boy. Uh, if his father was here, he would vouch for it. His mother is here, she would vouch for it all the time. You know, there are very few boys who sit down with their mothers, sit down with their mothers at night and discuss tele shopping. <laughs> he does that at 3 a.m. wherever he is in the middle of a party, but he'll come back and he'll say, "Mom, many soon I will tele shopping network for a new cheese. Aye, let's sit down and buy." <laughs> That's a good boy. Uh, he's an intelligent boy. I think that's what the book could have been called. An intelligent, not in terms of uh, just general knowledge or Wikipedia stuff or the stuff we all read on Google, but he understands things. He understands people. He realizes situations. He walks into a room and he knows what's happening. And uh, I find that extremely um, gifted. I think he has a gift from God that he can understand people and use it intelligently. Um, and even with me, if I may say so, there are very few people who can keep up conversations with me because I'm such a genius. But really, I say that with humility and modesty. But he's been able to have uh, conversations with me—the best conversations I've had in my life, late into nights in New York or here, or sometimes when I'm just alone. I call Karan and say, "Let's just talk." Uh, he is perhaps one of the most intelligent conversationalists and speakers that there is, at a personal level, at a professional level. Or at any given level, and if he doesn't know it, he can wing it really, really well. Um, I think he's a very sensitive boy. That's what the book could have been called, um, and it's a personal experience because I have the inability to express my feelings. I have oversensitivity issues. I am complex and damaged. But I realize that the only person, apart from my family now, who can give me the space. Or figure out how I'm feeling uh, has been only Karan. He can make out that Bhai is angry, Bhai is sad, can't say this to Bhai, and it's not just me. I've seen seen him being sensitive to everybody around, from the youngest of people, his team of student of the year, to the eldest of them all, and he can understand what is happening in your heart, what is happening in your soul. He's an extremely, extremely wonderfully gifted, sensitive person. The book could have been called <clears throat> "The Brave Boy," and I say this with vehemence and conviction because Karan is different. He's extremely different, and not just in the unique sense. He's different, and it's difficult being different, especially in our country, in the world we live in, the society that we have to face. He's just different, and to achieve what he has done with the gusto that he's done this. With the aplomb that he's achieved, this is even beyond the greatest of achievements. Because to be different, and to do, and be accepted, and to run wild and free in this world, is a very, very special thing. I know him very personally. I haven't read the book. I don't know how much of the difference comes out in this book. 
but he is a different boy. He is a unique boy. And last but not least, when I say this, he is genuinely an extremely brave boy. And he's all of these, but together he makes a very special boy. To me, Karan Jaha will always remain the most beautiful boy that I've ever seen in my life. And finally said what was the most important and why he feels he's finally in Bollywood with the launch of the biography. I'm extremely honored to be here. And I don't say it just because we're at a function and you're supposed to say this about a guy who's releasing his book. I'm extremely honored, genuinely. You know, there are different uh, uh, aspects. You think of yourself when you're, when, when I was young, I thought if I get an X amount of awards, I would have arrived. If I got an interview with so-and-so journalist, I have arrived. If I made it to the cover of a magazine, specific one, oh, I have arrived. I genuinely believe 25 years of work, 51 years of age, I truly, truly, and I thank you from the bottom of my heart for this, I truly believe my children, my wife, and myself, we truly have arrived because I have a full chapter in your book. So thank you so much. God bless you. And may Allah give you happiness, health, goodness, children, many of them, and everything that you ever want. God bless you and thank you for calling me here and giving me such an honor. Well, one can have a troubled friendship and a life full of speculations. But an unsuitable boy will tell the tale of Bollywood's most sexed about director. So, grab a copy.